me, me tell I see me, you stay on the road. Hi guys, I'm starting my first episode of my Lagos vlogs and yeah, I literally got back like a few hours ago and I am out right now, I'm about to go to a club with my best friend. You guys finally Hi. get to meet my baby, <laughs> this is Elo. Hi guys. <laughs> so yeah, we're just waiting for our friends, we're waiting for our friends. And, and it's Christmas, so Merry Christmas guys, whenever you guys Merry are Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> restaurant is going to like be staring at me when I walk in and then it's so awkward because people are actually staring at me right yeah. now. Hi guys, so I just got back home. I, I'm so tired, I'm so full, like too much food. But yeah, I did not show you guys a full outfit or just a shirt. But I'm wearing this top from Pretty Little Thing from my last Pretty Little Thing haul and these pants are from Pretty Little Thing. Hi guys, today is the 26th. It is boxing day it is what time is it dami it's like 4 30 and i'm basically just starting my day i am here with my sister hi i don't think i said her name in the last vlog her name is dami anyway so pizza hut just opened like two weeks ago yeah. like two weeks ago in lagos and we decided we're going to go and check out pizza hut and it's so hot so zero makeup today Guys, it's boxing day, but do you see this traffic right now? It goes all the way. Please, why are all these people not seeing hey guys? This is what the sign looks like. This is the entrance. My sister said it looks fake, like fake pizza hut. So let us see. It's kind of empty. So this one was the barbecue meat lovers. I kind of like it, even though there's no barbecue in it. It is, but it's just that weird. Sauce. Yeah, it has like a weird sauce. But yeah, this one's pretty nice. Part of the barbecue chicken here. That actually smells so good. Let me tell you guys how the rest of my day. Oh, by the way, you guys, that pizza was. I said I'll give it probably like a six and a half, a seven over ten, compared to Domino's. Just because one i feel like it tasted way fresher than domino's taste like here in nigeria the only thing is they were both meant to be barbecue based but they have like their barbecue sauce tastes like very funny it doesn't taste like normal barbecue sauce that you're used to as you can see my face i'm so tired i went took a nap i was meant to go out tonight with my friend and she cancelled so if you're watching this cut your soap thanks for spoiling the rest of my day I'm just kidding. Tonight is Burner Boy's concert. I really want to go because I love Burner Boy. But you guys, I cannot justify myself spending 50,000 naira to go and see Burner Boy. Like, I shall be watching Burner Boy from my Snapchat. I will be watching snaps of other people and enjoying the concert. From my Hi guys, good morning. Today is the 27th. It's about 10 o'clock. I'm still so tired. Like, see my eyes. I am still so tired. Anyway, I am going to fix up my driver's license at the driver's license office or whatever. My appointment is missed by 10:30. But you know how Nigerians are. They're always wasting time. So hopefully, I am back like 11:30, 12, so I can go to the gym and then get on with my days. Hi guys. So myself and Dami came to Ikwe Club. She's right here. This one here is a very lazy person, but me, I'm like ready to kick ass so let's just see how she does today i feel like she's going to be so sore but yeah we came to we came to Ikeko because we came to the gym so yeah i'll show you guys what we're doing how many minutes are you walking for 10 minutes really already on six are you going to run no i'm not going to run why i mean i would run but i don't want to show off you don't want to show off i'm not ready to do it i don't want to show off are you tired no are you sure no so let's run no should i increase it no should i no. a few moments later <laughs> do you want to stop 
won't allow you to go. <laughs> I will finish. Look at the camera real quick. <laughs> Never ever follow a pet in the gym. done from the gym this one right here is so tired she said she's never following me again but we shall see about that damn did you like today's workout no yes it was fun it was fun right yes it's a bit sarcastic <laughs> guess who i'm bumping into randomly i freaking it quick <laughs> what what are you doing here what are you doing here stop it hi guys so today is the 27th it's in the evening I'm here at Eco Atlantic. I basically came for my cousin slash family friend's um, birthday party, Christmas party thing. And you guys, this place looks amazing, okay? This building looks amazing. Anyway, I'm just going to go in and show you guys what it looks like. And then after that, I am going for Davido's concert. So let's see how that turns out. <laughs> Hi Toby, say hi to my vlog. Hey, I'm gonna get paid, take money, cash checks, you see the set, that's last. Say hi to the vlog, you know. You guys, I'm going to complain. Like, I really want to complain, but I want to wait till like, I get home to complain. But this is the process, yes? Last time. It's not happening again, ever, again. It's almost one o'clock. I was just entering here, in fact. This was not worth my 30 k so today is the 28th of December, which is my birthday i'm finally 22. anyway so i have a new video up by the way i'm going to link it down in the description box i'm also going to put it somewhere up here as well i was talking about 21 things i learned throughout 21. anyway so i think the last time i had come on here i was talking about like probably showing you guys davido's concert i was talking about going to davido's concert or whatever anyway fast forward to today you guys i was so tired after davido's concert but that concert was a waste of my money i'm not even going to lie i got there and then within the first 20 minutes of being there i was ready to leave because it was just so uncomfortable there was like sand everywhere there was no seat after paying thirty thousand naira, like there were no seats nothing and then the section for the vip was filled up and then people started fighting and then there was like jumping and the thing felt like it was going to break down i was i just told ilo i'm like i can't do this i'm not going to start i do not feel comfortable standing around here on something that looks like it's about to fall down like i'm not going to risk my life just to see david o. by the way david o did not come out till like 1 30 when he had put that this thing is going to start by six o'clock even though we know that it's not going to start by six o'clock but still it's like from 6 o'clock to 1.30, that is a lot of time. And then when he came out, he now started performing like songs from his very first album. Yeah, that's fine, cool, everything. But then he'll bring out like one artist, then that one artist will perform one song that they had together, then go then. When I left there around 4.30, Davido had not brought out anybody else. He had just moved to his Dreamo, DMW, DMV, whatever people. I'm just like, this is just a waste of time and waste of money, everything. So I was too tired, too exhausted. I needed to pee. But I couldn't pee in public toilets because I'm very scared of peeing in public toilets. So I just had to leave that place. I'm just going to say that this is the last time I would ever pay for any of these concerts, any of these like concerts for Nigerian artists. Because I feel like they're so disorganized. They do not respect your time. It's just always so disorganized. And I'm like, I'm not going to pay 30,000 naira just to contribute to you buying a new Bentley or contribute to you buying a new Rolls Royce when you cannot respect the money I'm paying or you cannot respect the fact that I'm actually coming out to see you cannot respect my time fast so, no. forward to today you guys today is my birthday i honestly i'm so, like my whole body is sore and i'm so tired so exhausted and i just want to sleep i said to just go to this place called oriki oriki spa so this is what like their instagram looks like very luxurious kind of looking instagram so i decided to go there i was like oh let me it's right here sure i don't know if you guys can see it yeah this is what their instagram looks like sure it looks really nice and everything so I decided to go there, like, let me see, let me just treat myself. I googled their address, he said something something VI, cool. Put the address on Uber, something something VI. Went to their website, they have an address on there. I was like, okay, VI. Everything was consistent, so I called myself an Uber and I went all the way to VI. And then I got to my supposed Oriki Spa location and tell me why the 
actual building is not existing like why is this spa not where they say their address is meant to be so i asked somebody there i was like oh so where is oriki spa blah 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 whatever and they said oh they have moved they have relocated where to it said somewhere along lucky expressway and so i looked at the time and i was like well it's not worth it for me to start looking for this spa in Lekki, wherever it is, because Lekki is huge. And then I was like, if a business moves, if you relocate and you cannot have the simple cut, say, to change your address on Google or to change your address on your website or even pick up your phone calls, then you honestly do not deserve my 20, 30, 40, whatever amount, thousand naira that I'm about to spend on a freaking spa. So... I booked my Uber and I came back home. Now I am about to eat some nice plantain and ofada stew. If you know me, you know this is my favorite meal. Then later on in the night, I am going to go for native land. But you, like, it just baffles me how, like, Nigerian businesses do not respect their customers' time and money and efforts. Like, I don't think I'm going to go to that spa, honestly. Because I'm just so disappointed. After your whole, like, luxurious aesthetic, whatever, on Instagram, you can't even change your address on your website. Like... Or put your address in your Instagram bio or even pick up your phone calls then you honestly do not deserve my money as a business that's just how I feel anyway you guys I am going to native land try to vlog there if I remember to vlog try. I'll see you guys there <laughs> I'm just so sad I haven't still seen Burner Boy this whole freaking December. Like, I cannot believe I have not seen Burner Boy this whole December. He couldn't perform today because he fell ill. So, yeah, I mean, I hope he gets well soon if he was actually sick. Hi guys, I'm here with this one again. And we came to Coldstone Domino's Pinkberry. Show you guys. I don't know if my thing catch it. Yeah, so Pinkberry and then they have like Domino's and Coldstone. And it's on Awolowo Road. This is my first time actually having. This is my first time actually having Pinkberry. So when I try it out, I'm going to let you guys know what I think about it. And you guys, guess what? I drove, like actually drove, actually drove. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Continue, continue, continue. Anyway, I drove, like actually drove, 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 drove. I mean, by myself for the first time ever in this freaking Lagos and. I think I did pretty good even though my parents were like scared to let me out of the house by this time of the night because I was driving by myself But I think that did I do well? Yeah, you you handled a lot of problems. I did well. right like oh, I'm a pro now So if you can drive in Lagos you can drive anywhere and I cannot drive in Lagos yet But if you can drive in Lagos you can drive anywhere in the world Anyway, so you guys I forgot to tell you about my pink berry. It was pretty good It's a healthier option than Coldstone. I got pina colada and the wild berry flavor and I also got strawberries, white chocolate, and red velvet cake mix, something like that. And I really, really liked it, so that was good. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And if you want to see more Lagos vlogs from me, comment down below telling me what your favorite part of this video was. And see you guys in my next video. Bye!